Hey guys, so I'm here with my Kendall, and um, he's just sleeping away, but I came to just do a open discussion and a chat, and um, you guys know how much I love to sit and chat with you guys. So, okay, let's talk about prices. And I'm just going to touch talk about this just a little bit. Um, it's just, I've seen, um, a post on Facebook, I think it was, and also just a few things that I noticed, and I've talked about this before on my videos about pricing and stuff. Um, number one, we cannot choose the artist price, unfortunately. Um, they're allowed to put whatever price tag they want to on their babies, rather it be too much or too less, um, or just right. <laughs> um, we also, as collectors, where I used to say um, you should not try to negotiate price, um, I don't say try to negotiate price, but I do say it's nothing wrong with um, trying to make an offer. You can ask. You can say, um, are you are you accepting offers? If they're accepting offers, then that means that they're open to maybe possibly accepting less than their asking price. Um, other than that, the price, it is what it is. And don't get me wrong, I'm going to be straight up and 100% real with you guys. There are some price tags that I see on babies and I'm like, what the heck? Like, dang, you know. Um, not to say that it's not worth it. It's just unbelievable to me how much Reborns has went up in silicone babies. Um, now, with the silicone babies, I do think that you can find either secondhand or even new um, artists that prices are a little bit less than what they used to be um, because there's so much competition out here. You don't have to go to the highest uh, silicone artist to get quality anymore. Um, and as many have said before, the price tag does not define the quality of the baby that you get. It really don't. Um, you can spend top dollar and still have something that you're not 100% happy with. So, yeah. But some artists do put a lot more into their babies as far as the quality and the craftsmanship. And that is worth more to me. Now, I did learn something about um, one particular artist. Um that said that their babies come with a lifetime guarantee. Now that is key. Um, when I saw that, I thought, wow, that's great. Because um, I have had babies that have had issues. And I have had to damn near pull teeth to get it taken care of. Um, and then I've had, you know, some that... Um, you know, might have had a problem or something and the artist was just cool with it. Fine, let's, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, but then there are artists out here that is like, oh, well, it's not my problem. When I sent it off, it was like this and da, 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 and you're out of money and a baby, pretty much. So, a lifetime guarantee is pretty great, even though, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, it is, it's pretty great that they they offer that. But anyway, so my thing is, too, with these, you really can't really price art. You know, it's like going to an art gallery and you're seeing this particular painting. And to you, that painting is worth $500 because for whatever reason, it's something that just touches you or moves you or simply because your child painted it. <laughs> I 
I don't know. But anyway, I just had to throw that in there because my daughter does have art in galleries sometimes. But anyway, um, so, yeah, you, so you can't really put a price on it because I may think that my baby is worth $800 and someone else may think it's worth $200 because with art, it's going to be based off of an individual, you know, style of preference or taste, you know, so it's not going to be, it's going to be what, what it's worth to you. So you can't, I always say, if I say, see a price tag that's really high, I say, I might say, oh, that's not worth that to me, to me. Keyword to me doesn't mean it's not worth it. It's not worth it to me. Or if I can't afford something, I just can't afford it. Um, I'm not going to shoot down the artist's work because I can't afford their their um, their dolls or babies or whatever. Um, that's If that was the case, then I would just like hate, you know, some of these artists' work because... I cannot afford them, but that is not the way to do it. So, but yes, we all have opinions and rather people want to say it or not, there is most, 90% of us have seen a price tag on a baby and like, holy crap, what in the world? Like really? Yeah, we've been there, done that. And I mean, you don't have to go and comment or post something and say it about that particular you know, price tag or whatever, but, you know, I do make jokes about Romy Stratum, uh babies a lot of times, like, oh yeah, I need to go sell my house, my car, and then maybe I can get me a Romy Stratum, but that's all in fun, because, I mean, her babies are gorgeous, and she is the silicone elite as far as price goes. Um, I don't know. I'm not particularly um, like a person that's like um, dying to have a Romy Stratum baby, but I think they are absolutely fabulous. Even the ones that I've saw in other people's collections, I you know I love them. Um, but I found that I actually really, really love silicone babies, period. Um, I just love the feel of them, the way they feel. I love to the pacifier thing, just to pop the pacifier in. And um, some of them have, it's just you really appreciate it. You have to really like the silicones to appreciate the art in them, the realism in them, the fact of how they're made, et cetera, et cetera. So... Same with some of these, you know, reborns. Like, some of these artists go all out. Like, they are really fabulous at the extra detail that they add. And, you know, um, some of these artists, um, what is it? El Boron, she add her own texture and own different things to the kit itself. The kit don't even look the same sometimes when she gets done with it. Um... So so goes for um, Kay's nursery. She does extra stuff to her babies that's just like, whoa. You know, um, there's a lot of other people out there that does extra stuff to them and adding stuff like realism to their eyes and et cetera, et cetera. Um, even, you know... My thing is with, um, even with Yogi Babies, is she's known for the moles and the birthmarks and different things. Each artist have their own technique. Marlon, she's into all this different shading and um, stuff like that. She's very good at capillaries and veining. And um, I don't know if you guys, let's see if you guys can see. If you can see right there by his eye and stuff um there's a veining there but there's parts that you guys can't see like above his eyelids there's actually like veining like like the capillaries i don't know you can't really see it but in his eyes 
over his eyes. It's just very, very realistic. Um, so different artists have different techniques, and I guess that's why they stick price tags on it. It takes time. It takes money for the kit. It takes money for the hair. It takes money for the paint. It just takes money for a lot of the stuff. And then, you know, the extras is the clothes and stuff that they send. That's extra. But what you're really paying for is the baby itself. So I had to learn real quickly not to say a baby's not worth a certain amount. But I can still have my opinion and say, damn, that baby's high. Um, or what the hell, you know, because I do. But I don't you know, voice that out loud on, you know, specific items, et cetera, et cetera. The other thing that I have noticed is that um, when shopping for babies is you can get babies cheaper sometime on eBay than you do from buying directly from the artist. And I've mentioned this before, but I'm really, really paying attention to this. And, you know, it's like, it's kind of, it kind of sucks in a way because it's like, you rather me spend 500 and eBay gets 100, you know, eBay and PayPal gets about 100 of those dollars or $70 of that versus me just paying you directly. You're still going to get the same amount of money, but... It would save me, too. So I think it's a win-win situation for the collector and the artist sometimes if you contact them and buy um, outside of eBay. Sometimes um, artists will sell outside of eBay for less if you contact them. And the reason being is because they're not going to get that money anyway. And it's just, you know, easy. But eBay is a quick way to get your baby out there for advertisement for tons and tons of viewers to see. And also for the buyer, it's safer to buy off of eBay than directly from someone. Um, but as a seller, it's more risk selling on eBay than anywhere because you don't know the person, you know how to contact them, et cetera, et cetera. You don't know who you're dealing with. So um, those are the things that I just wanted to touch on with pricing. And also, I don't think I showed this in my other video, but I'm going to show it again. Um, and you guys are already seeing this, but it's so funny. I was on a spree at one point shopping for the babies because I had sold a baby and I just spent the money on like clothes and stuff like that. And I had, didn't want to put these out because I didn't want um, anyone to see that I had been shopping again. And I found them in the closet the other day. I forgot all about them. And the babies that I bought it for, I don't even no longer have. So, <laughs> but I am going to put it on one of the babies I do have now but it was the one with the little bunny embroidery it's a baby blue very pretty soft baby blue reversible top and it has the bunny on there and so that's boy and this is the pink bunny with the little feet in and this one is polka dot reversible in there so um this is up to seven pounds so i was excited about that so and then i got the pacifiers today maybe i could do it with these but there's a little catch to that but i can't disclose it um, I don't know, should I just go ahead and reveal what baby I'm getting? I mean, not ba what baby I'm getting, but girl or boy or not. But maybe you guys just need to wait with me since I have to wait. Maybe you guys need to wait too. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got the hiccups. 
that's uh so petty of me right but anyway um he did get dressed but i may change him again i don't know but he i just let me show you him really quick oh, hiccup. he has on his little rivet froggy outfit he doesn't have on any socks but he has his socks here for him to wear but um, I don't know if I'm going to keep him on that. And he haven't had his hair done or anything. So he just got into bed with mommy. Had a bottle. Fell asleep. And that is that. But anyway. Um, I am catching up on videos and comments. And all that great stuff. So thank you guys for um, liking, watching, and subscribing, and commenting. And I read every comment. Um... It's just been really busy with the school shopping and all that stuff. So um, now that I've gotten all that out of the way, I can get back to my hobby and um, some other things. So talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Hope you guys made it to the end. And uh, see you soon.